Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be very special because today I wanted to work on a very adorable water dragon and as you guys already know that I just really love fantasy creatures so I just definitely wanted to repaint a very adorable and cute water dragon. I just wanted to make her as cute as possible and there would be two parts of this video because I just wanted to put more content on my channel so that way I wanted to make two videos of this one because the doll video is going to be very long so I just wanted to make this not too much long. So if you guys are brand new to my channel for the very first time, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification and now without further ado, let's jump on to our video. So for this repaint, actually I will be using one of my very old custom and she was in my collection for such a long time and I just really love her but I think that her colors are faded out and I think that I can make her much better and much beautiful and there are also some kind of bumps and not good things which I really don't like so I just definitely wanted to repaint her once again and to make her extra cute and very detailed. So at first I'm starting by removing all the doll accessories and all the ribbons and flowers from the doll body just to make the doll body look much clean. And be careful when you are using exacto knife or some kind of sharp things because they are very dangerous. And now everything is fully removed from the doll and she's looking much clean but still I think that her face up is looking very pretty and I just really love her but I think that I can make her much pretty and beautiful at the same time but still there are a lot of chipping all around the doll body so I'm using my pure acetone and a piece of cotton or tissue paper and I'm starting by removing all these chippings and paint from the doll body and face. So whenever you are removing your original doll factory paint, it is very easy to remove with acetone but whenever you wanted to repaint your repainted doll face, it is much hard for me to remove because there are a lot of layers of Mr. Super Clear and acrylics and watercolor pencils so I think that it is much hard for me to remove. And now the doll face is looking very clean to me. This is very stained and few parts of the doll face but I think that acrylic paint can fix that problem very easily. And I have also removed the doll ears and I will just attach them later on. And now I have taken a piece of fabric and I am starting by removing all the paint from the doll body. And now the doll body is looking very fantastic and clean. This took me a lot of time but the result is fantastic. And now I also decided to remove all the doll hair because I just don't like the color and I decided to go for something else. So I'm just pulling off all these hair. And now the doll is looking very clean and we have a very perfect canvas to work with. So I'm using my pliers and I'm just removing some of the wire from the doll ears. And after this, I'm just attaching them directly using some super glue to the doll face. Super glue is very important in this step because then you will have very great results and everything would be much seamless. And that way I attached both of the ears and now the doll is looking very cute and I'm just really in love with how everything is cleaned and perfect. So now I'm using my acrylic paint and I'm using some thin layers of acrylic paint and I'm starting by repainting the doll face. 
make sure to water down your acrylic paint because then you will not have any kind of harsh line and everything would be much smooth. I also have an airbrush but this time I'm feeling very lazy so I think that this technique is very easy and fun to do. And then I repeated the same thing with the rest of the doll body because the doll body was still a bit chippy and I just don't like all the different kind of color variations on the doll body and I just want a very clean and clear body so I just decided to completely change all the doll skin tone. And once the doll body is fully painted, after this I have sealed the doll body using my Mr. Super Clear sealant and now I have taken my soft pastels and makeup brushes and I'm adding blushing all around the doll face and ears just to add some realism and dimension to the doll. For the blushing, I'm mostly using pink and purples. And at the same time, I'm also adding blushing all around the doll face and body and lips because I just wanted to give her a very tropical kind of look. So I'm mostly using purples and pinks. I also added some blushing to the scaly texture in her body and that way all the scales will look much fantastic and they will look very clean. I also added some blushing to the doll hands just to give it a very gradient kind of look and with that the doll body would be all done. Moving on to the doll face which is my most favorite part when it comes to a doll repaint. So I have already sketched out the doll eyes using my brown color of watercolor pencil. After this I am taking my white color of acrylic paint and I am filling out the white of the doll eyes. After this, I am taking my black color of watercolor pencil and I am starting by sketching the doll eyeliner. For the doll eyebrows, I decided to go for blue color because maybe I will give her some blue or purple kind of hair so blue color will look much fantastic on this doll. For the doll eye makeup, I also decided to go for blue, pinks and purples. Using my pink, blue and purple color of watercolor pencil, I am sketching the doll eyebrows. After this, I will be using my purple color of acrylic paint and I am filling out the doll irises. I just wanted to give her some kind of gradient and the doll irises because I have not done that before and I just definitely wanted to try this. So now in this stage of my repaint, I'm just really sad because I have lost a lot of footage but at last I decided to give her some eye shines, adding some freckles and pearlix powders all around the doll face and with that my doll face up would be all done. Using some blue, reds and purple color of watercolor pencil, I am adding some very tiny veins all around the doll face because then it will look much realistic and beautiful.
and at last I have added two layers of Perlex powders to the doll face and with that my doll repainting video is all complete. There would be a part two coming very soon so please stay tuned for that and let me know in the comment section that what you guys think about this doll and what is your favorite thing about her so far. So please let me know all your suggestions down below and I will just love to read all of them.